Welcome back to the channel and today we have a brand new ball seed to check out. It dropped today and before we do that let's check out these beautiful sites. We're in Idaho right now with the family checking out these breathtaking sites and look at that house. That's the owner of Uber's house. He's doing something right. But let's check out this new Volsteed. The Volsteed Nightshade and Mini Nightshade are outstanding EDC knives. If you've never tried one of these, this blade shape is conducive to just about any type of cutting you do. I like the Mini a good bit. I go back and forth with the Mini and the regular size. It'd be nice to get an XL. What do y'all think? But I think I have like seven altogether of the Mini Nightshade. You can get it in the budget version with G10 coated R9 coated blade, a 14C 28 inch steel. Then I think this year, last year, they dropped these with these beautiful textured aluminum scales that had a few different colors. And then the accented thumb stud and backspacer aluminum. I don't know if that's aluminum, I'm guessing it is. And also 14C 28 inch. But because of the aluminum, it did raise the price a little bit. And then we also have this premium version with the S35 VN blade and the beautiful carbon fiber with the blue accents. They had orange and I think they had red or black, one of them. Just a nice comfortable knife. If you like smaller knives, this one's small, but for my medium sized hands, I get an easy four finger grip on it. And it lets me manipulate that blade a lot easier. Doing drag cuts, I can get down to that tip if I want to put a little bit extra pressure into what I'm doing. And the way that blade cants down, this is a Schillen cutter, I think it's called, blade. It acts almost as a recurve when you're doing in-hand cuts because whenever you start the cut and as your hand starts to do its natural arc, it gets deeper and deeper because of that belly coming down like that. So beautiful performance on these. I love every one from the premium to the budget ones. It doesn't matter to me. My only complaint, and I heard a few people talk about it as well, is that these original ones had a little bit of light tension on the crossbar lock. Now, I don't know if it's still like this, but on this budget one with the G10 and the coated or non-coated blade, this one did not have the adjustable crossbar lock. So what you get is what you get. And it's not super light, but it definitely could be a little stronger because I can pretty easily flip that out. Well, I noticed on this aluminum version, it got a little better and it does have the three little spots to adjust the tension on those Omega Springs and it helped out tremendously. It's still not that strong and I can still flip this one out, you know, fairly easily, but it is better than the original and I don't know if it's on full strength or not. Um, I'm sure it's not and I could probably adjust that and make it a little bit stronger. Well, they just released another premium mini nightshade, and this one has titanium scales. Now, because it's titanium, it is going to add some extra heft, definitely over the carbon fiber one. This thing weighs nothing, and it feel I'll check it, but it does feel like it is a little bit heavier than the aluminum version. These drop today, so if you're interested in this one after I talk about it, I will have it linked down in the description. It will be an affiliate link, so if you want to help support what I do here on this channel, that is pretty much the only way to do so. If not, no biggie. So you still have those nice contoured scales. Got blue accents on this one. It is aluminum here for the backspacer with that geared pattern that is a little bit raised. I never really noticed those to give you any extra traction or anything. Blue thumb studs on this. And I like that if you want to remove these and swap them out or something, they have a Torx head in there. I love seeing that. And there's a Torx on both sides. So if you have to hold back up. You still have that same beautiful crown spine. I absolutely love a crown spine. I think it makes the knife look so much more elegant and it feels really nice to the touch when you put your finger up there. Now they tuned the tension on the Omega Springs on this one. Absolutely perfect in my opinion. It's got a nice snappy action and it requires a little bit extra force to pull back the crossbar lock. Now I don't know what setting they have it on set to being they have the three dots on this one as well. I haven't had time to take this one apart. So maybe it's full tension or maybe they put some stronger springs in there. I'm not too sure there. But good action. It's not as easy to flip this one out. I got to give it a good hard stop on there. So right where I want it to be there. You'll have that same beautiful full flat ground S35 VN blade like you have on the original premium version. This particular one has a satin finish. This particular one has a stone wash finish. I prefer the stone wash personally, but you know, they both look good. These have excellent sharpening tools on them. As you can see, they brought that plunge line back a good bit. And where my fingernail is right there is how far you'll better sharpen before it'll flare out. 
Now, one thing I will say after doing all the testing on this one and a few of the other S35 VN models from Volsteed and pretty much all companies, but I'm pretty sure they sharpen these on a belt. And what that does is it, it fatigues the edge and some of the edge could be burnt. That'll make the heat treat at that specific spot brittle and it'll cause it not to hold an edge as long as it should. So I've noticed after I doll out the first edge, I put my own edge in it and the edge retention dramatically jumps on these and then it, it continues to get better after the second and third sharpening. About the third sharpening is a pretty much full potential from what I've seen on the ones I've sharpened. S35 VN good steel, nice stainless steel. I like it. It's fairly easy to sharpen. It holds a good edge and it's got good corrosion resistance. If you haven't tried this blade shape, God, it's so good. I mean, look, say if you need to do drag cuts, as soon as you come right here, that tip is already facing down toward what you're doing. So drag cuts, man, are so, so easy with this. And you can put your finger, being it's a sharp blade, you can put it closer to that tip to push down if you needed to, to give it a little bit of extra pressure. Or if you needed to do a sawing motion cut, you could do that. Pinch grip, you could do that. This is gonna be great at just about any type of cutting. Now with the flat cuts you're going to be leading pretty much with that tip into things and in hand cuts it's going to be a very aggressive cutter as well being that even though you have that belly it's canted down so as you can see the natural arc of my wrist it's already facing down so whenever you're going to cut, as your wrist does its natural turn, it's going to get deeper and deeper with that belly. You have 0.098 on the stock thickness, just like the Raccoon Cub and the Mini Psyop. This one has a very high, full flat grind, and it comes down to around 13 thousandths behind the edge. So this thing sliced very, very well. And my Piccolo knife has around a 21 degrees per side edge bevel. Talked about the action deployment on this one. I find this one to be very nice and crisp, nice and smooth drop from those ceramic bearings. The crossbar lock tabs have grip to them. They're easy to pull back. I love the look of these scales. They have like a bead blasted finish, so they don't have a whole lot of texture. However, that milling pattern does give it a little bit extra grip. I don't know how this would be in the winter time when your hands are super dry or anything, but for me right now, I live in the South. I do get sweaty and I haven't had any issues with this feeling like it's gonna come out of my hands. You have a Torx T8 for the pivot, and unfortunately you have T6 for all your body screws. You do have a lanyard hole, and there's also a chamfer going all the way around here, which is nice because if you wouldn't have that chamfer, where these points intersect would be a sharp spot. There's no sharp spots anywhere that you don't want them to be. And as you can see, you do have the reversible inset clip here. I love that they have it inset into the titanium. I would have liked to see a filler tab that's the same color as this, just because this is a more premium knife. But like I said, at least you see the inset clip, unlike on the carbon fiber one, they just let it sit on top like that. It is a deep carry clip and they also countersunk those pocket clip screws. This is perfect amount of ramp to go in and out of my pocket. You don't have any flipper tab to get in the way of something else that goes in your pocket. It does a good job of hugging the side of your pants and all you have is this little piece sticking out and that lanyard hole is close to the top. The lockup on this knife is bank vault solid. No movement in any direction. Outstanding job there, boss dude. I know they did the milling on the outside and these are contoured, but I definitely would have liked to see some internal milling here just to bring down the weight a little bit. Even though I like the heft, it is pretty hefty for its size. That brings the weight to 73.5 grams or 2.59 ounces. So still nice and lightweight. So compared to the aluminum, which is 2.14 ounces, so lighter. And of course, compared to the carbon fiber, which is 1.61, this thing's an absolute featherweight G10 coming in at 1.8 so i guess i'm just used to how light those are even the aluminum so it's been nice to have the pocketing not a deal breaker for sure and it brings your balance point all the way to here size comparisons as you can see it's a little bit shorter than the volsteed mini psyop and it's a little bit longer than the volsteed mini Labdoor. and it's just a hair shorter than the qsp canary folder and the kaiser feist a little shorter than the Civivi Mini Praxis and bigger than the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. And for my nitpicks and complaints on this, I would have loved to see T8 hardware throughout. It would have been nice to see a filler tab here. Maybe some weight relieving to make this a little bit more balanced in hand. One thing that bugs me a little bit more than any of those, because those are very minor and not a big deal at all. But as soon as I got this knife, I noticed whenever I went to close the crossbar lock, 
the little wings on this pivot right here as you can see right there it's got a very hard sharp angle there not, not gonna cut me but whenever you go to grab this that's where your thumb's gonna be and you got to pull back on it now i've i've gotten to the point to where i grab behind it but i would have definitely either like to see them knock that off with a little chamfer or something because it sticks out and it's just not the most comfortable you can see it better right there you can see that that's probably skin on there and it's like that on this side as well so it's an easy fix and i'm i was just waiting till after this review but I'm literally just going to take it apart and I'm either going to knock those edges off with some fine sandpaper, hit it on my buffer. I'm not sure yet, but it'll probably take a whole 10 minutes. But all that said, this is my new favorite mini nightshade. The tension on the crossbar lock is dialed perfection. I love me some titanium and I love the mini nightshade. Two things we need to see, Vosti. We need the regular size nightshade and an EDC fixed blade. That would be awesome with that same thin geometry that y'all did on the, the Vosteed Mink. And I've heard a lot of people in my comments say, give us an XL version of this. That would be nice as well. I'm here for both of those. And if that's something y'all would want to see, definitely, definitely comment down below. If you would like to see both of those, say that. Or if you'd just like to see one of them, say which one. Because Vosti does read the comments and they like to give us what we want. So if enough of us talk about it, maybe they'll just do it. I think that would be absolutely excellent. And on that fixed blade, boy, it'd be great to give us some LMAX. And you could go Micarta, G10, I don't really care. Contoured scales would be excellent. I just love this blade shape and a fixed blade would be just outstanding can't wait to hear y'all thoughts if you're interested in this i will have it linked down below it will be an affiliate link so if you want to help support what i do here on this channel and it helps me pay for my testing materials that is awesome but if not no big deal and if you have any questions comments concerns leave those down below i'll do my best to get back with you and i hope everybody's having an absolute absolute amazing day i will see y'all on the next one peace